Welcome everyone. This is my um, November scrapbooking with me projects for the November kit. Um, I'm a little behind schedule so I do apologize for that. Uh, so here is my first project with it which is a welcome fall and I'll slowly scroll through it. Uh, banner and it's a double banner. Okay, and basically what I did was I cut out the triangles um, using my um, Cricut Explore Air and then some of these also were cut out like for example um, this leafy background um, I did use the Explore Air to cut out I also used the Explore Air to cut out um, this little thingamajiggy here. I also cut the letters out with the Explore Air and I also cut this little background behind the L. Um, for the most part every single item I used was something from the kit. There are a couple um, little um, like for example this Brad. I hope it focuses if it says family, that was in my stash, and there was a couple other ones that were from my stash, but for the most part, everything I used was using the kit. Um, I wanted it to be a little on the rustic side, that's why I used this twine, um, and it's a very thick one, and I was very happy with it. I unfortunately made it too late, so I didn't get to use it on my wall this year, but I will be putting it in with the rest of my fall collection, um, my fall decorations, so that I can uh, use it next year. All right, so let me put this away so I can show you the next thing I made. I made this layout, and it's a mixed media layout. I used a few different mediums on it, and as you can tell, um, this precious child is actually a metal paper. I mean, it's, I ha I've had it in my stash since I my, the very first time I ever went scrap shopping for scrapbooking stuff. So it's very old. I don't even know who made it, but it was an adhesive backed and it came in three different colors. Um, and it was uh, like aluminum. They were very thick. I also used some of the scraps like behind my picture to kind of give me a little bit of a continuity and it also gives it a lot of um, shimmer. I cut the flowers, I fussy cut the flowers um, from the paper and I just used um, different kinds of uh, um, shimmers. The water, I don't think they were the watercolor, actually they were the watercolor shimmers um, and I also used the new shimmers um, sprays. Um, I will put the information in my description. I don't have it in front of me. Um, I also stamped some, you can see there, like there's just little itty bits of different stamps that I got on there. I was very happy with this layout. This is my gorgeous niece. Um, we were at a football game and it was really cold and I was fighting with her to keep her hat on so she finally did. And I got that picture. So that is my layout. Also using the um, November kit. Uh, and then the last thing I made, and I made a bunch of these because um, Thanksgiving I cooked for the family. And my parents-in-law hosted it. And I made these little um, signs for each dish. I mean, we're not that fancy, so we use the aluminum um trays so all I have to do is pinch it forward and these clip on perfectly. Um, I did use again this cut file from the Explorer and the rest I printed these onto just um, cream colored cardstock and then ran it through, uh, through a, with a die through my Big Shot and then I just um, used my uh, paper cutter to cut the little backings using the same 
collection. And as you can see, we had some bacon wrapped asparagus, which was a huge hit. Um, corn, broccoli and cauliflower casserole, and so there were a bunch, there's a bunch more of them. These are just the ones that I happened to grab. I will be putting these away because they didn't get dirty or warped or anything. I will be putting them away and hopefully next year we have a lot of the same dishes. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed my projects. If you um, have any questions, feel free to comment below and I will happily answer them. Um, don't forget at 250 um, subbies, I will be giving away a $50 gift certificate to Scrapbooking With Me Boutique. So if you haven't subbied, make sure you subby. Thanks for watching.